is up and today we are going to be learning how to make a platformer game in scratch and this is part one so today um we're going to be setting up the basic physics engine and yeah so my pla uh so my platformer is going to be called geometric where uh, I'm only going to draw with geometric shapes just to make, um, this tutorial, uh, this tutorial series, bleh, this tutorial series just a lot more easier, and it's just going to be a cool concept. So, I have three, I have three sprites right here. So, I have one called player hitbox, which is literally just a circle. So it needs to be like either a circle or a square depending on what your player is. And then I have a level, which is um, just a level. And then I have a player, which is which just looks like this. So, and the player and the hitbox are like basically the same size. So, I mean, I actually might wanna make it tinier. Also, why is there a line just in the middle? Okay, there. And center all your sprites, and a lot of people will be centered. Um, this guy needs to be centered. Okay, boom. So, also, what you might want to do also is just make a a blank uh square around your sprite, so it'll actually um not like cut off the edges sometimes like it, how it does so yeah okay now in the player hitbox you want to drag out a when green flag clicked um go to so let's let's make it let's make him go up here um go to that position set size to 100 and then put in a forever loop if and put a if actually no uh yeah okay if key left arrow pressed and then we want to make a bit wait what are these variables all right so we want to make uh we w you want to have two variables already ready uh xvel and yvel um so these are for all sprites and you want to set xvel uh well no i actually want to change xvel by negative one and just because why not i'm going to make it turn that way five degrees because my thing is a cube i mean a lot of cuba uh sir um circle yeah and then I will duplicate this, but do if key right arrow press, and change it by one, and then five right there, other way actually, five, boom, and then we set xvel to xvel, and then times 0 0.9. Um, yeah, and then we want to change X by XVEL. So XVEL just stands for X velocity, and this is what's going to help, uh, this is basically what's going to move our player. And uh, now this part is kind of weird. Um, we need to put an if. Touching level, touching level, we change Y by one. And this might not seem weird right now, but we duplicate, oh no, not add comment. We duplicate this, put it under there. We duplicate both of these, put it under there. And we need it once more. And we need five of those. And then in the last one, we do change by a negative four. So then we um, <clears throat> can change X 
inside inside the last one we do change x by and then just duplicate this from up here but um put change this to negative one and then we do if up arrow key pressed key up arrow press um and then we need to do if where okay if and then put a greater than symbol and then put xvel is greater than uh zero. Oh wait no this needs to be in a if else loop sorry about that so we put if else boom and then we do set xvel to negative 10 I'll set X fill to 10. So, now, when you do that, you should be able to um, move left and right, and it'll basically have a little bit of wall detection to it. Uh, it's still very glitchy, though, so... Um, what we need to do is... Down here we set a uh, y. W okay, this is the first time we use this variable yvel to 15, and then oh wait, also also also, this up arrow key thingy should also be placed in a if else loop. It's just very confusing right now. All right, <laughs> um, so and then we set x velocity to zero right there. And now it's still, it's it's just, yeah, it's 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 not right. So now we change, all right. Um, we change y val by negative one. Boom. And then we drag out this y val, and then we drag out this change y. So we change y by y val, and that will make our cube uh, or square just go not skew. Oh my god, our circle to just go haywire. And then when you press up, it's just it's just all it's, it's not right. So um now what we need to do is do if touching level. T not touching color, touching level. Uh, if touching level, then we change Y by, okay, so then we need a minus, then we need a plus. Oh no, not plus sometimes. And then we need Y vel here, a Y vel there, and a, na and a two right here. All right. Boom. And then we set y well to zero. And then we change y val by negative. Well, not change y val, but change y by negative one. And then we can do if. Uh, and then put an and. If uh, touching and then. If touching level and key up arrow pressed, then we set a y vel to 15 because that will make our circle go jump. And then we change y by one. So, after all of that, I know that was a lot, so be sure to save your project so you don't lose all this. And now, we should have a good physic. Wait, what? What? Alright, uh, <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, there always has to be a problem, doesn't there? Um, wait, what? Uh, 
Oh, cool. This does not need to be in an if else. No, I guess. Okay. My brain is all jumbled up right now. All right, wait. Um, hmm. What the? <sighs> okay, so guys, I I literally just restarted Scratch. And it worked, which is weird because there is a literal, uh, fully working, it's, it's working. Also, I just got rid of the turn, um, left and right here just to see if it would make any difference. It really didn't, but, um, here's the code, just the final code, um, you guys can pause the video. If, uh, I went a little too fast, but, so now, uh, if, when you have that working, you go into your, like, actual player sprite, and you do, when green flag clicked, forever, go to, player hitbox, not random position, because that, uh, that's just not good. Um, and you'll see, it, there's like a, a tra it's like a trail almost, which isn't, um, really too good. Also, my computer is very laggy right now, so I apologize about that, but, no. Uh, we, in the player hitbox, we go up, we go into looks, and we set, Ghost effect to 99.999. And this trick is really helpful because it literally, it makes the hitbox disappear. Um, but it still can collide with things and stuff. So that's really good. Also, I'm going to hide the X and Y variables. And then I'm going to do... And if key right arrow crest, then I turn that way. And then if you left arrow crest, I turn that way. Um, so now, there, I should be rolling and moving at the exact same time. But, so this is one thing that look that's just weird. If I keep on moving, I won't roll, which is not too good. So in the player hitbox, let's see if I can do that. Um, change uh X well. Then we can also. Oh wait, no, 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 never mind. All right. Um, so. Um, up here, we have a player, we have, you know, full collision, slope detection, uh, we also have wall running, believe it or not, so, that's pretty cool, and, yeah, so, the only thing that's, um, so, we're gonna be making more enemies, and we're gonna be making enemies, uh, hazards, and all of that other stuff next video. But, yeah. So, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys next time. So, peace out. Also, did you guys know you could do this? Um, I know I'm getting a little distracted, but you can literally. Um, okay, you know what? Just, alright, peace out.